Are you thinking about getting a Boston Terrier, but you're not quite sure if this is the right dog breed for you? In this video, I'm gonna cover 10 lovable qualities that's gonna make you wanna get one after you watch this. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. I'm Donnie Gardner, and over there is Bella, my Boston of over a decade. And today I'm covering the 10 qualities that's gonna make you want a Boston after you see all 10. Coming in at quality number 10, Boston Terriers are fun size. At least that's what I've dubbed them. They're gonna be anywhere from 15 to 25 pounds based on the breed standard. So while they are considered a small dog breed, they're gonna be on that upper end, making them the perfect fit to actually go ahead and live in an apartment as well as a large house. Coming in at quality number nine, they're adaptable. So let's first look at adaptability in two different ways. First, their size. So they're not tiny like a Yorkie, so they can rough play with kids and not get injured. And they can also, you know, have fun on the farm. They can also be around an apartment. So they're adaptable in just the size part. Now, when I look at the other form of adaptability, it's really their personality. So whether or not you personally are a couch potato or somebody that likes to go on hikes, Boston Terriers can do both. I know just looking at the photos of the Boston Terrier Society Facebook group, there there's over 12,000 members, and every day you'll see pictures of Boston Terriers, whether or not it's them hanging out at the lake, swimming in the ocean, or just cuddling on the couch, your Boston can be adaptable to that. Coming in at lovable quality number eight, they will make you laugh. Whether or not it's singing in front of the TV, or maybe doing zoomies in the snow, Boston's are gonna bring a smile to your face. Coming in at number seven, Boston's love to cuddle. Basically two different ways. Number one, I went ahead and asked the Boston Terrier Society community on my website. I surveyed 50 Boston Terrier owners, asking them, does your Boston Terrier like to cuddle? And 94% of people out of that 50 in the survey said, yes, their Boston loves to cuddle. Now I wanna dive deeper into this. And another thing that I did on the Boston Terrier Society Facebook group, I conducted a survey there and I asked, would you say your Boston Terrier is affectionate? And 99% of people said yes. Now this was 160 votes. So out of 160 people, 99% of them said, yes, their Boston Terrier is affectionate. So if you're looking for a little cuddler, the Boston Terrier is the right dog breed for you. Coming in at number six, Bostons aren't big barkers, which I personally love. Bella here, she pretty much only barks at me or if somebody's walking up the stairs to our house. Hey Bella, go inside. And that also kind of lends into them being great guard dogs because they really only bark when there's something going on. Of course, if I'm sitting on the couch, then Bella just wants to bark at me if I'm not playing with her. Now, once again, I took this a step further and I pulled the Boston Terrier Society Facebook page. There I had 209 responses and I asked the question, do you think your Boston Terrier barks a lot? So 84% of people said no, they do not think their Boston Terrier barks a lot. So if you're looking for a dog that's not gonna bark, a Boston Terrier is gonna be a good choice. Unless of course you get one that's in that 14%, then I'm sorry. Coming in at number five, Boston Terriers are friendly. So anybody they meet, they're gonna jump up on them and this might actually lend to being a problem. So I know with Bella here, if somebody came in the house, she just wants to jump all over them. So you're gonna wanna try to set boundaries in the very beginning if you're getting a Boston Terrier puppy because otherwise this will just get worse and worse as they get older. Coming in at number four, Bostons are not overly aggressive dogs. Now a Boston Terrier is bred to be a companion dog and that's why it lends to them not being aggressive. The only time I ever see Bella being aggressive, it's to other dogs, never to other people. And I think with the whole aggressive towards other dogs, that's just my fault. But I went ahead and pulled the Boston Terrier Society community on Twitter and there I had 156 votes. And I asked, is your Boston Terrier aggressive in any way? So, I mean, you know, that opens the gamut. Is your Boston Terrier aggressive in any way? And 64% said no, their Boston Terrier is not aggressive in any way. So hopefully that'll give you some assurance. Coming in at lovable quality number three, Boston Terriers are minimal shedders. Now they do shed, but it is gonna be minimally. I mean, Bella, now that she's older, she does shed more than whenever she was younger. And it would just be like over a week, maybe a palm full of shedding. It's not gonna be something crazy like a Husky. So you're not gonna go to work with hair all over you. That's another quality that I absolutely love about this breed. Coming in at number two, Boston Terriers are great with kids. Now, Emily and I, we went from just her and I to all of a sudden having two kids and Bella done, has done the transition pretty well. While at first she was a little timid and skittish just of babies in general because she wasn't around all the crying and everything, she's done great. My son now plays with Bella all the time, but I even asked some other Boston Terrier owners. I went ahead and asked the Twitter community again and I had 104 votes. I asked, is your Boston Terrier good with kids? And 86% of them said, yes, their Boston 
Boston's good with kids. So if you're worried about a Boston not being family friendly, hopefully this gives you some reassurance. Now, coming in at lovable quality number one, your Boston is gonna love you till the end. They're gonna form a deep companionship with you. So if you're looking for unconditional love, a Boston Terrier is gonna be the perfect dog breed for you. All right, question of the day. Did this video convince you to actually get a Boston Terrier? Whether or not you own one already or not, I am curious. Just put yes, it did convince you or no, it didn't and put it in the comments down below and we can see which one wins, the yeses or the noes. Now, if you're now looking to get a Boston Terrier and you still have other questions, definitely check out that playlist I created. I'm gonna put it in the show notes below. Until next time, life is better with a Boston. Right, Bella? I don't know if you can hear her snoring. All right, see you guys later.